What's up guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a dynamic report in Power BI by using bookmarks. If you haven't used this tool yet, it's highly recommended. And today guys, today I'm gonna show you how to do that step by step as always. But before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. So now guys, let's do this. As you can see here on the screen, this is the final result. We have a Power BI report here with just one page, but we also have buttons here. Check this out. We have four different ones. If you click on this one right here, it automatically switches to financial result by period. If you click on the other one, it's giving you the results by country, the other one by product, and the other one by segment. As you can see, we're not creating multiple pages here. It is just one page, but we have different visuals overlapped. So that's the main goal here. To achieve this, we're gonna use bookmarks, like I said before, and another feature called selection. So let's do that. So this is a report that we're gonna be using. And I want to share with you this template as well so you can play with it. But basically what I have here is a table with measures, a calendar table here as well, and also the financials table. You might be familiar with this table, but I'm going to share with you the data and everything so you can follow along. So let me walk you through what I have so far. So here I have this visual, the multi row card here, and every single measure is already there. As you can see, the total goal here is to understand profits by a specific period. I also have a slicer here. It is referencing year from the calendar table. Another important note here is this. Disabling the data option means that the bookmark won't use the current filter state. This is important because otherwise the bookmark would permanently log in the filter currently applied by the year slicer. So I'm going to show you how that works as well. So let's do this. As you can see, here we already have this visual. This is the tagged column chart. What we need to do here is to add three different measures, okay? So let's do that. So let's select total net sales here. There you go. How about total costs here as well? And finally, we need to add here total profits. There you go. So that's perfect. It is working perfectly fine. And like I said before, we need to combine bookmarks with selection. But remember, we are not using bookmarks yet. But I'm going to select here. If you go to view, select the option called selection. So you can see this new option here again. You can see all the visuals here. You can hide them and you can make it visible. So that's what you can do here with this option. And for this particular case, because we're going to be overlapping visuals, we're not creating different pages here. What we need to do here is we need to hide this. But before we hide this visual, I'm going to copy, I'm going to make a copy of this one. Control C, Control V, there you go. And then, so I'm going to go back to the first visual and then I'm going to hide this for now. So I'm keeping this one right here for now. And here, I'm going to make a couple of changes. So we need to have here, instead of year month, we need to have here country. Remember that? So just drag country into the X axis, boom. Now, if we want to visualize this better, we can change also the visual to a stack bar chart. And now we can make a couple of adjustments here as well in terms of title. This should be by country. Perfect. So now we are done with the second visual. Remember, our goal here is to overlap visuals. So I'm going to make a couple of adjustments here just to make sure that everything is aligned. There you go. So before I have this visual, I'm going to make a copy of this one, right? Control C, Control V, boom. And then I'm going to hide the previous one. And then I'm going to keep this one right here. Let's align this better. And now instead of country, we need to select product. So let's do that real quick. So let's drag product into here. There you go. The next step here is to adjust the title. 
remember that? And here, instead of a country, we need to have product, right? Boom, perfect. So the next step is to make another copy. Control C, Control V, boom. Before we start playing with the last visual, let's hide the previous one. And then let's make a quick adjustment here to align the visuals, perfect. And then instead of product, we need to select segment. So let's drag segment into this box. Boom. There it is. Next step here is to update the title because this is by, this should be by segment. This is perfect, my friends. Now we can hide this as well if we want. So there is nothing now, but let me make a couple of adjustments here. Title, we need to add by product here with eight by. Okay, so that's more reasonable. And then we can hide this as well. Make this visual by country, perfect. So it's working fine. And then right here, if we wanna make this visible, we can do that visible for now. As you can see, we just created four different visuals, all of them are overlapped. The next step here is to use a combination of bookmarks and also selection to make this work. So the next step here is to add buttons. Let's go to insert and then right here you see the option called buttons. So let's select blank. Check this out. So I'm going to use blank here. We can expand this if we want. And now if you go to general effects so you can the background can be just white there you go and then so let's go to bottom here style so now let's have text here okay financial results by here okay perfect so it is working fine so the next step here is to increase size to 12 perfect so this is a default view if we want to have a different view when we select it so we can go over here and then select on hover so what happens when we select on hover so let's see what's happening here or feel so let's select here this one right here and then for text this should be just white so let's see how this thing works check this out as you can see once you hover over this visual so the background changes perfectly it's working perfectly fine my friends so now we need to duplicate this control C control V and then let's do this for country. Remember that? So we're gonna go over style here. And then right here, we need to change or replace period with country. And remember, we have to do this for both. It should be default here also. By country. Perfect. So now, Check this out, same behavior, right? So we're gonna do the same here for product. Perfect. And then the last bottom here, control C, control V. It's very similar, right? So it is working perfectly fine, my friends. So let's make a couple of adjustments here.
this is just alignment my friends okay you can make a couple of alignments here as well select all of these and then go to format aligned vertically so the next step here is the following so we can add action to these patterns check this out so before we do that we need to create the bookmarks so let's do that let's go to view here and then select bookmarks you can select any year let's say 2014 for now before you create a bookmark and by period i think we are good to go since this is the view that we want to have for financial result by period let's create a bookmark boom so let's name this financial result by period there you go so we are good with this first bookmark the second bookmark and that's why we're going to use the selection option right check this out for the next bookmark so we're going to hide period and then we're going to make visible country so that's the goal since we have what we need now we are ready to create a bookmark so now let's expand selection so let's hide now country right Re financial results by country so let's make visible by product there you go since that's what we need the next step here is to create the next bookmark there you go let's expand selection again since we are done with product let's hide product and let's select now or let's make visible segment this one right here perfect next step here is to get the last bookmark perfect and there is another feature here let me show you how it works which is data see right here if you click on this option on the ellipsis so the data option is selected so what happens if it's selected so it means that if you selected 2014 and then you change it to a different year so the next bookmark will still be selected in 2014 so it is attached like it says right here it's locked the bookmark is permanently locked for that specific year and we don't want to do that for this particular case and that's why we're going to unselect data okay so we're gonna do this for all of the bookmarks that we created and then right here there you go same for segment now if you want to see the difference between having data selected and unselected as part of the bookmark so let's create another bookmark here with data selected and see what happens and see the difference okay okay so with data what does it mean it means that data is selected check out the difference here so all these bookmarks were made for 2014 right and also we uncheck data data is checked here so what happens if i select a different year 2013 for example so what happens with the other bookmarks do you think it will go back to 2014 for country if data is unselected so that means that you can play with this slicer so it wouldn't change check this out even though you created this bookmark for 2014 it's giving you still 2013 the change that we just made for product the same thing for segment the same thing how about segment with data the last bookmark that we created for the example check this out it's going back to 2014 because why because data is selected so that's the difference my friend so now real quick to close this tutorial so let's add action to these bookmarks if you select this button right here there's an option here called action so we're going to select bookmark here and then by period so you can also add text to this tooltip if you want this is optional okay 
So now let's do the same for the other pieces here, okay? Perfect. So this should be working fine now. If you hover over this visual, over this bottom, you can see here, this is by period, this is by country, this is by product, this is by segment. So now let's see if this works. Hold down control, by period, boom. Hold down control, country. Same thing for product and the same thing for segment. So this is working totally fine, my friends. There you have it, my friends, if you haven't used bookmarks and selection this is really powerful highly recommended thank you for watching if you found this content helpful give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything see you guys in my next tutorial